Have you heard about the NAR settlement? Well, NAR stands for the National Association of Realtors, just in case you didn't know. Well, without going too deep into the weeds on details, and as of right now, the whole situation isn't actually settled, well, here's where we are with the current settlement. It's a settlement that is all in the effort of being more transparent about how realtors get paid. And there really is a lot going on with it, but here's the short and sweet part that you need to be aware of. As of mid-August, buyers are required to sign a buyer broker agreement with the realtor, where you're gonna be committing to and confirming that you will be responsible for your agent's compensation. Now, that's if the seller doesn't agree to pay for it, which is how things have been done for as long as I can remember. So knowing that you may be responsible for all or some of your buyer's agent compensation, if I were in your shoes and I was out there buying property, I would find the best realtor that I could, <laughs> seriously. And that could represent my best interest. And you better believe I'd find one that was one hell of a negotiator because I would want someone that would work hard for me to get the best home at the best price but also want that agent to work their tail off to get the seller to agree to pay their compensation as well. That way, me as a buyer, I wouldn't be responsible for any additional unforeseen out-of-pocket costs. Hey, buying a house is expensive enough. You've got your down payment, your closing costs, inspection and appraisal fees, not to mention moving costs or home renovations. Yep, finding a strong seasoned buyer's agent is definitely gonna be helpful for you in our marketplace.